How's it going, everybody? I'm sorry that we didn't have any other Crucible videos uh, last week. We had a little hiccup with the fam, getting all sick and stuff, but we're good now. We're back, and we're up against FD. We uh, we went 2-1 and one on both accounts last week. Hopefully, we go 3-0 and oh this week. Uh, we're up against FD from Anomaly Detected, sitting at a cool 75 million TCP. He's gone very offense-heavy. And, like, the biggest threat is that Echo dies. Here we go. Here we go. So, Noir goes. Then it should be... Alright, Kang gets a slow on the, uh... What's her name? So that Titania can go first? Question mark. Hold on. Here we go. All right, so we get the Disrupt and Ability Block on the uh, Miss Marvel. And then is it Apocalypse's turn now? I feel like it should be Apocalypse's turn now. Did I? Am I sweating for nothing? Is this, is this autoplay? I'm so confused. I'm always confused by this damn matchup. Let's go for the Robbie, see if we can get him killed here. Miss Marvel, 8 Dirt. He's dead to all the assists. Good thing we got Striker on Echo. I just don't want her to take a turn. We're going to let uh, Black Cat not take a turn. We're going to punch her in the face, too. All right. When the when the opponent is super light on defense, this is fantastic. So, yeah. When the opponent is super light on defense and you can do this, you can throw your apocalypse at this, at this. This is great. All right. Um, this, was, this was good. This was fun. All right. Let's get to the next fight. Three, two, one. All right, this is stage two. We're using Eternals, Kestrel, Emma, and Fury. We should go first here, as none of these characters spawn with speed up outside of war. Yeah, or raids, but they don't spawn with raids anyway. Anyway, we're going to flip all their buffs. Cersei's going to do another rewind. Kestrel's going to annihilate people. They're not going to get any summons. Famous last words should be fine. Here we go. We have other options that we definitely could have brought in here, but we're trying to be as quick as possible so let's get the speed up makes our Icarus go before the Val we get to flip a bunch of nice stuff here all right Kestrel's turn is next no it's going to be her here so let's throw this boom we hit a defense down so Tiger is gone summons gone let's kill these guys over here and if we get Val low enough it'll be just Val left so this will be just Val left she's going to get hit by the Kestrel ping and now we can go ahead. Uh, he doesn't have deflex, so it's basic. He, oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. We love it. We love it. Super efficient. Full life. We love it. All right? We love it. I am inevitable. No! All right, here we go. Stage number three. We're going to be using our superior six minus uh, Spider Slayer because his kit's just not that interesting, is it? Instead, we got Mysterio. We got Vulture. Maybe the biggest mistake Scopely's ever going to do is leaving Mysterio unchecked in Crucible like he is because he's so impactful. Well, maybe I should hold my words. Maybe, maybe we'll get wrecked here. What we're not going to do like we did last time is we're not going to... Oh, we already put a slow on him. And we cannot turn me to rewind him, can we? So he did get a slow off the bat, which does make Quicksilver go quickly. We cannot rewind him, but we can rewind everybody else. So let's rewind everybody else, and then we're going to go for the kills on Quicksilver. All right, what do we got here? We got bleeds, offense down, slow. So we don't want to do this. It'll make him go too quickly. We got flip immunity, ability block, apply offense down for two turns. This is nice. My only concern is that we're going to end up pushing him. And he's going to get, like, Scarlet Witch buffs, right? Which is not fun. We can extend everything. Yeah, we're definitely going to extend everything here, including that trauma on uh, on this guy. Yeah, it did extend. Perfect. I don't know why I just decided to go push Thanos. We just wanted to give him some extra speed, I guess. Let's start working down this Quicksilver. Good, we brought her out. Let's try and get buffs off her. Fantastic. And then we got blind and ability blocks. 
So we should put it here just so she's ability block. So we don't get defense down. In case the Surfer gets to use his ultimate. I know he's got two turns of ability block. There's no world where he should see another turn. But, like, stupider things have happened to me. There you go. There's one of his attacks. This puts a slow out. So let's just throw it over here instead. Take out the cull. All right. Unfortunately, take Killian Scarlet Witch does that, which I had no idea about. This will not do a turn meter rewind, but it will just demolish him. Green Goblin is so strong. So strong. All right. So we played it much better than we did last week, which I don't even know if we ended up putting that video up. Yeah, I don't even know if we ever got that video up. But last week we did this. It worked great, but it was ugly because uh, Quicksilver got to pop off. So make sure you get it with that ability block and extend everything. Superior 6, great here. However, if this was not a you know offensive heavy player, very heavy defense, we would have used Superior 6 elsewhere for sure. All right, here we go with stage four with Spec Ops. Now, I just brought my new warriors to the god dang moon because we were going to use them against Secret Defenders, but we decided not to. So, we're going to be using them here against this Unlimited team. We're actually punching down, which is crazy. Nearly a 2 million new warriors team. If anyone's going to lose this, it'll be me. Now, this is Spec Ops, so they do get stealth. We got to be careful of the Dazzler ability blocking Cloak. That could be a nightmare. So, you want to put a, a bunch of rewinds on him. So let's go ahead. We'll take those dodges off. It is going to put them in stealth. Now here's the shitty part. Or the sucky part, I should say. We do need to put the rewinds on Dazzler. Otherwise, she'll go before a cloak. And she'll cover them in debuffs. And that's no good at all. Now we would love to get a slow on this rogue. We didn't. But uh, well, she's going to ult and remove everything. So that kind of sucks. Oh my god. What happened to homie? Homie in the in the cape just died. What happened? Dude, he died. He said, fuck this shit, I'm out. He said, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Damn it, fucked off. Oh my god. Sorry for all the cuss. Oh my god. Yo, build up new warriors smack. Holy. I brought them all the gear trade team except dagger, by the way. That was funny. Oh my god. Camp it god weed whacked. Jesus. All right, this is stage five. He's got Desi. We're going to mirror it. He's got a little bit of a twist, though. He does have his Spider-Man Big Time. Now, the problem with Spider-Man Big Time is he should go first, but he's a Raider. And my Magneto should be giving speed up to my team. Um, I should go first in a bunch of places. As long as Magneto goes first, what could go bad here? What could go bad here is if Archangel gets the Disrupt. And then all my guys go before him? But wait, isn't there a room rules here? Can't those mutants like not get debuffs anyway? On turn, clear all negative effects. Okay, I don't think anything can go wrong here. I'm fairly certain nothing can go wrong here. Famous last words. We're going to run it. We're going to run it. Here we go. Once I find that team again. It's a slight punch down. I think it's good. I think it's good. We get more speed. We just do. And his big time is going to give me speed up. Oh, he's going. He's not going first anyway. Well, for sure, yeah. We're going for Archangel. Right? Kill Archangel, win the game. Special into AA. Oh, I guess the slow. Yeah, I just read the room rules and I didn't do it well either. That's so silly of me. All right, but, oh my god, what just happened to my Magneto? My Magneto just got effed in the A. What was that? Oh no, okay, Psylocke's dead. Oh no, why did I not special into AA? I'm so silly. I'm actually the silliest guy ever. Okay, so this can't be counterattack. Let's get offense up. Let's go for the squishiest member, who's going to be Dark Beast. We got to get kills here. We got to get kills. Oh, Mags is the squishiest I did it. Okay. Oh, they both died. All right. Um, we got to dodge. Let's... Uh, ability block won't stick. I think we should still go for him. I think we should still go for him. All right. So we got counters back up because Psylocke came back. 
do it. We did no damage. Okay. Let's throw everything back and rewind the Archangel. There you go. All right. Well, you know what? Sometimes it's better to be handsome than good. Just throwing that out there. There we go. Mags gets the events down from the end of his turn. Yeah, true. True, true, true. Not not putting this to one Archangel was really dumb of me. Really dumb. And that's why my Magneto got wrecked. Is because he had the blind or the defense down. So going first, not necessarily a great thing there. Oof. Yeah, I got to read the room rules better. Round two. Fight. All right, to wrap this up, we're doing stage six. We're going to go Tangled Web Doom Star-Lord against the Gamma team. This is one we used to run way back in the day. Like, I got other options that we could do here, but we're not going to tempt fate or nothing like that. Like, I could not bring Noir. I could bring in Nova, but he'll take all the turns and be a jerk about it. He probably would still kill everybody, but, you know, Morgan, some nice rewind, stuff like that. The Dark Hole team would do great here, too. We got a lot of options, but we're going to do this. So we're going to get Disrupt on Green Hulk right away to make sure he has Disrupt. And then we're going to pop off. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and just target Green Hulk. Bloop, 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 bloop. He's got the defense down. Which one does Disrupt again? This one does. All right. We don't want to hit the Red Hulk. All right. Yeah. So let's just do it here. Boop. So now he cannot taunt, which is great. We'll stun the She-Hulk so nothing gets thrown back at us. She'll also basically die. Everything gets missed now. Um, I, I don't, I don't think we can blind him, unfortunately. Oh, we still get to go first. Oh, excellent. Okay, uh, first let's take the death proof off of you. Now let's go for you. Uh, and then let's make sure, well, he's going to get, uh, defense down no matter what, because we're hitting him at stage six. So let's do that. Uh, let's get offense up. We'll target over here just because Red Hulk can counterattack and ruin everything, right? As he just tried to do. Let's kill the Red Hulk. Brawn should bleed out, so let's go ahead and kill Green Hulk here. Blah, 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 blah. And then we'll finish off A Bomb. All right. What kind of score are we thinking? That stage five kind of. That stage five was a little wonky. We got to be high 190s to have a chance here because he was super. Oh, 194? I don't know if that's enough. Oh! 367. So he got a couple of losses on the way. Let's see what he lost to. He lost to the Dorm Secret Defenders. Always a bitchy matchup to have to deal with. He didn't want to use his scroll there. He used his scroll on my scroll, I assume. There it is. Oh, that was an ugly one, too. Uh, he got 64 there. I guess it, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. And then uh, 63, he got 62. He did like the exact same team as me, except he did not bring in Noir. Interesting, interesting. All right, so GG to FD from Anomaly Detected uh, was fun, sir, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.